headed to the Bridgeview RV Park in West Lethbridge to pick up a snake. I don't know whether it be a rattlesnake or a bull snake. There actually is a suspected bull snake hibernaculum right on their property, um, but there's also a rattlesnake hibernaculum, a very well established one, um, not too far away either. So it could go either way. Um, could be a garter snake but I don't think so I think they these guys are they know their snakes I think we're gonna have a rattlesnake so, let's see. So they've already got him trapped, which is good because we've got to hurry. We've got another snake call. Really? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, we've got a we've got a uh, rattlesnakes at Lethbridge. Facebook page. <laughs> Don't they say it's better to get rid of them or not? Or you get rid of them? No. We're uh, in Utah and boy went out there and leave Utah. Right? It's crazy. They're part of the, the ecology. <laughs> Here they're they're uh, endangered species. So. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Right. Right. Okay, what do you want me to do? Stand up. Uh, no, I know that. Okay, fine. Well, I, he's mad. Yeah, we got him mad all the time. Yeah, that's a big rattlesnake. Yep. Oh, look at that bugger. I think that might be one of the biggest rattlesnakes I've ever seen in my Holy shit. And I see him almost every day. I've been down here since 07, and I've never seen one that big. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, it. Get back, guys. that's bigger than the one that we got last night. Yeah, yeah the other night. Yeah. <laughs> They're taking it to rescue it. <laughs> Don't let him go there. Mm -hmm. There you go. He's not a happy camper. <laughs> yeah, you think? That's a that's an elder right there. That's yep. an old snake. That's why he's not mad. The one that we got the other night was an older, uh, an adult too, but this one is bigger than the one we got the other night. Yeah, this is. This the is other one we got the other night was about this round. Yeah, that's about. He was just a little bit smaller than that one. How many pieces a day do you get? Uh, depends. Sometimes I get zero. Sometimes I get three. Yeah. Today, <laughs> today is. Yeah. Got Did you see in, it? In paradise I did, I did, right now. Where's your camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I got to run. There's another guy with the snake in the back. All right. So we just picked up one of the um, probably the biggest rattlesnake that um, I've ever picked up in Lethbridge. Uh, maybe not the oldest, you know. You can't really judge by the rattle, but you know that's what people think. But um, but usually the really older ones will have really long rattles as well, with many buttons. But um, this one does have a big rattle, but it's not the biggest I've seen. But as far as girth, <laughs> this is a big snake that we just picked up. Um, the actual hibernacula that I'm sure that snake comes from is not accessible to me. Uh, it, it's on land that's privately owned and the private landowner will not allow us to return snakes to that den. And for some reason, the province of Alberta and Fish and Wildlife does not have um, whatever kind of legal precedent to go on there without the landowner's consent. So. I have to relocate it to a different den. Um, just so happens, as just before we got to the RV park though, we got another call uh, for a second snake, this one back at Paradise Canyon. And so we're on our way to look for this other snake. It was uh, something that was reported by a neighbor um, as having gone into someone's bushes and 
So the homeowner just wants us to come and check it out. We may or may not even find a snake on the scene. This kind of uh, neighbor told me they saw a snake go into my bushes thing is usually, you know, they definitely saw one, but whether it's gonna be there now or not, you know, it's pretty iffy. Um, but we're gonna check it out. Either case, um, wherever, you know, we're gonna bring this snake back to the upper pops in Hibernacula. Um, if we do get a snake in paradise, if we don't get a snake in paradise, then this snake, this, this elder grandpa snake will go to uh, Cottonwood Park, which is where we try to bring all the kind of miscellaneous snakes. Um, so that's what we're up to now, and we'll see what kind of situation we come across in this next house. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So as far as you know, he's still in there? Right under there. Okay. Flower, the yellow flowers. I okay. can see him. Oh, you can see him. Okay. okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, we got a little, little bit of a precarious situation because we already got one snake. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. We've had them before. Yeah. Usually we find a few of them. Yeah. One, one yeah, time we had three just... and the guy said, Red, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he said there was uh, one male and three, two females, I think. <laughs> three females. No, it was one female and two females. Oh, was it? Yeah. There was two. Two of them were tangled up in our fence there. <laughs> oh, you had the garden netting? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that stuff it gets Yeah, and they were tangled together. Really and bad. So it, especially this time when they're doing yeah. the mating, if the yeah. if the female gets in there, then the males yeah. yeah, it's bad news. And we were you know, we had the kids down in the afternoon right by our garden and they were picking stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Even look I, at the male female then. Um, no, I can give a guesstimate when I really look it over, yeah. looking at the tail. Yeah. Um but the one, the one snake that we picked up before this one is really a big snake in here. Oh, okay. I don't want to have the top off the bucket too long because that, that guy oh, can... Oh, that's what I mean. I heard he can, all the he stuff can, going on. He yeah. can come right out. But um, yeah, you can tell by the tail sometimes mm -hmm. uh, whether the, at the cloaca the body gets really thin okay. and then it goes to the rattle. And if that's really long, then it's usually a male. Oh, okay. But if that... If that narrow strip is really short it's usually a female but a lot of times it's in between so you can't really yeah. tell yeah i'm pretty sure it's the same on that um, yeah, there was a bunny in our yard yesterday and then i and then i oh. chased it and the oh, yeah. oh my goodness yeah. that's a big snake <laughs> oh my gosh that is a big big one we had one back oh that's a minute. big one All right, so we are on our way to the big wood pile um, to release the small rattlesnake that we just caught at the Canyon Boulevard residence. Um, my friend John Nightingale is following us. He had pulled in, we'd actually called him on our way to Canyon Boulevard in hopes that he would bring a second bucket there in time and maybe be able to help us search through the bushes. Uh, as it turned out, it wasn't that big of a, of a deal searching for the snake. It was right there in plain view. Um, and he pulled up uh, as we were pulling out. In any case, we're going to drop off the small snake at, at the big wood pile at the upper pops in um, Hibernacula. Uh, the same place where I dropped off the two that were from the Paradise Canyon Golf Course the other day. Uh, John is of the opinion, and I share that opinion, that the larger snake uh, should be relocated to a site much closer to uh, its actual den. And so while 
uh, we got to respect that private landowner's wishes that we not go on his property. We will go to an undisclosed location um, nearby and release there. So these two poles came in almost what, back to back? Yeah, <laughs> we were on our way down to the RV park and, and we just the left one. the house, yeah. <laughs> They're probably maybe about five or six minutes apart. Right. Hey guys. Yeah, that little one's a little bitey. That's the second time she's struck. We're both in our, got our gaiters on, I see. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Alright, now you need to assume a pose where I can see your... Uh... Well, you should get out of the shadow <laughs> for one thing. Yeah. <laughs> assume a pose where I can see your unique patterns. Well, get your head out. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, she's, is it she's, ever feisty? She's bitey. Hurry up and get your picture, right? I need to I need to get her to uh, show me her, her back a little bit. Good so that I have a, a nice view. So, <laughs> holy. She's taking that was a there, there, there. That's good. That's good. Yeah, she took a good jump there. Yeah. Right? Like chasing her towards me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hurry up, Brian. That's probably good. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, John. Piss off. Oh, this is what I was pissed off. Oh, you went the wrong way, man. Okay, she finds her way. Okay, I'm going to go up you that. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, I think I got him photographed pretty good. It's all laid out. Not a, no, not a later whether he's seen this one before. Whether they're what? Whether he's seen this one before. Yeah, I gotta check the uh, yeah. photo depth, but I doubt it because I haven't really picked up any from this area right. down here. That's so, a large snake, so he's, he's over three feet. Yeah. Yeah, he's a big snake. Yeah. Very, very. <laughs> oh, 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 oh,